AutoCAD 2009 includes new 3D navigation functionality which is consistent across Autodesk's 3D applications. The new View Cube tool makes it easy for you to view and navigate around your model. It has hot spots that highlight as you pass your cursor over different parts of the cube. When you click on a hot spot, AutoCAD instantly restores the associated viewpoint. For freeform movement, you can click and drag on the view cube similar to using the orbit tool. Regardless of how you change the viewpoint of your model, the view cube automatically displays the current view orientation. A right-click menu option to access the view cube settings enables you to control the display and behavior of the view cube. You can specify the default location, size, and even the opacity of the view cube. The new steering wheel displays a wheel at the cursor for quick access to a variety of navigation tools. You can use the right-click menu to choose from different wheel sizes and modes. Many wheels are small wheels with tool tips indicating the purpose of each wedge. The basic wheels are larger with labels. There is a basic view object wheel which is ideal for navigating around a model. It includes common navigation tools such as zoom and orbit as well as an option to move the specified location to the center of the display window. The tour building wheel includes tools for navigating through a building. You can push the mouse to move forward, slide your elevation up or down, and look in a different direction. A combination of viewing and touring tools are available on the full navigation wheel, which also includes an intuitive walk tool. Now if you lose your orientation, for example I just moved up to the floor above, you can use the rewind tool to scroll back through preview images of your previous locations. You can customize the appearance and behavior of the steering wheel using the steering wheel settings dialog box.